What's up everyone, Terraquake here, and I'm back with my Pokemon Pearl walkthrough. In the last episode, we got the Beacon Badge, aka the final gym badge here in the Sinnoh region. So now we've got to head north, but first, we got to talk to Jasmine from, uh, of course, All Vine City in the Johto region. And she will give you HMO7 for Waterfall, and she will only give you this once you have defeated Volkner. So, yeah, make sure you uh, talk to her, or then you won't be able to even reach, uh, I think, the Pokemon League. So... Yeah, and I hope someone can learn um, Waterfall here. If not, then uh, we'll probably have to deposit someone. Not this episode, but before the next one. Let's see. I'm hoping Luminion can. That'd be uh, pretty nice. I'd probably just get rid of Whirlpool, to be honest. And yes, it can. All right, good. Got a bit nervous for a second, but we've got our Waterfaller. Just going to get rid of Whirlpool. It's not really a good move. Waterfall is definitely better. Even though I'm pretty sure it's um, special attack is better than it's physical attack. But it don't matter. Don't matter. So, anyways, before you can head like onto Victory Road and Indigo League and stuff, you got this little surfing route right here. Um, it's not too long, I don't think. But there are a couple of trainers um, on this route, and it's good for training. So, yeah, I'm going to do that first. Let's see. Jeez, I have to scroll all the way down. I only got 11 max repels left. I'm definitely going to stock up before I go into Victory Road. And man, just take a look how slow the surfing is in this game. That's all I don't really like about it. The surfing is just so slow. But we're right into a trainer battle now, so that's nice. And yeah, she's determined to go on to the Pokemon League. Well, if you're just swimming around in the ocean with one Pokemon, I don't think that's going to help you. And it's a Luminion. Okay. So yeah, I'm not sure if Luminion will be able to solo run for you unless you get it up to like level 90, but whatever. Oh yeah, that's right, Star Raptor is like a, literally a millimeter away, probably like 5 experience points away from getting up to level 47, so that'll be nice. Hopefully you can two-shot this thing. I take that back. We get a critical hit and we're gonna one-shot it, baby. Let's go. Good start to the video as, um, yeah, Sharp will get up to level 47. And I do seem a little under level right now just because uh, I know the gym leader's high or Volkner's highest level Pokemon was uh, 49. And I know the champions is like in the low 60s. So, you know, I'll probably have to do some grinding. Um, but the good thing is I will have a day because in between, because basically the schedule goes. Um, I'm going to have a card opening video tomorrow. I know a lot of you guys liked that one um, last week. I Was it Thursday I did it? Yeah, last Thursday. So yeah, I'm doing another one of those. It's going to be pretty hype. And then Thursday, we'll have the Victory Road um, video here. So it'll be part 56. Then Friday, I'm going to have a top 5 video and an announcement video that I'm planning. And Saturday, I'm not sure what time yet, but is when I will be doing the stream that I have been talking about a ton here in the recent videos of this Let's Play. So yeah, the stream, basically, I'm just going to be taking on... The rival that you have to do right before you enter the Elite Four, the Elite Four, and the Champion. It will be pretty hype. You know, we'll basically be defeating the game. I'm assuming it might take probably a little less than an hour. I don't think the stream will, will be too long. Maybe not even 45 minutes. It depends on how it goes. But, yeah, that's just nice because I get sort of, you know, Thursday after I get Part 56 upload. Uh, I can grind there. Then Friday, of course, and um, Saturday before the stream I guess so yeah I will probably need to do a little bit of grinding but I'm feeling I'm still feeling pretty confident anyways Azumarill out here gonna use double edge like that will do anything and it does two hit points what is double edge like 110 base power and it does two hit points on my Bastiodon that's just crazy all right whatever strength probably won't be able to do much though either yeah yikes uh, I'm not going to make you guys sit through this. Finally, that Azumarill went down. Took a while, but, um, you know, my boy Dino got through it. But like I was saying earlier, yeah, tomorrow's video, which is, of course, Wednesday, is going to be a card opening video. Um, and I'm pretty excited for it. Last time, you know, we got something pretty good. And you might be asking, what did, we, what did you get? Well, you got to go watch the video to find out. But, uh... Yeah, I hope we get something just as good or even better this time. Swimmer Oscar here is a Mantike. Okay, uh, Rock Slide will be super effective against it, so that's not too bad. And then I said, yeah, I'm going to have another double upload on Friday. 
because I'm gonna have like a short announcement video. It's probably gonna be two minutes long or something, and then a top five favorite Pokemon video, which I'm in it. I'm sure, as you can tell with how that top five series has gone, that it's gonna be the sixth generation, just because I've gone in order. But um, the announcement video is gonna be explaining a couple of important things, so you know, definitely tune into that because there'll be some things that I want to go over there and. Probably, you know, I won't spoil anything yet because, you know, nothing is final, I guess. But it's 99% chance that's going to happen, what I am planning. But we'll have to wait for Friday for that. As of now, we're still swimming around in this ocean, taking on this guy. Hopefully, Bastiodon levels up here after we take down this Remoraid, who goes down in one hit. Nice. Um, and so uh, we've got to sit and watch the show bell animation. This is when you just hate having the show on because it takes up so much time. But there we go, level 47. And now I have Luminion out, and I don't really... I don't want to have him out, man. Luminion. He's just not good against all these water types. That's just kind of annoying here on this route. But luckily, like I said, it's not too long. So we should be fine. I'm going to just go to my boy Speedy and hopefully take this Mantine out. Oh, it's a man I thought it was a Mantine. Hold up. It's a Mantine. Okay. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. What is he going to hit me with? Water Pulse? Thank you, because I used the Avalanche. And that will um, double it up, I guess. I don't know if I'll take down one hit, but then you get Avalanche. I'm pretty sure I checked. It's a physical attacking move, so that's nice. So maybe it will. Oh, yes, it will. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Sneasel. Looking pretty awesome. I remember um, the team, when we were doing the team, or no, not the team plasma stuff, the uh, that first part of the gym, he died like twice or something like that. And I was like, oh no, but you know, looking pretty good so far. And I'm pretty sure we get what the Razor Claw, I'm pretty sure is what it needs to evolve. So I will probably, you can get that in Victory Road, and then what I'm going to do is either Thursday or Friday night, um, because you have to level it up at night while it's holding the Razor Claw. I will just level it up, or that's when I'll start grinding, and then I'll level it up there, and it will become a Weavile. And alright, here we go, double battle, so we can do this now. But I might cut this one out, because it could take a while. You know, I've got Luminion and Steezo out here, it's not like I have freaking Prugly, just about a Thunderbolt, everyone. And that battle is over, looks like we have another swimmer right there, I guess I'll go ahead and fight him. There's an item over there. I miss that? Oh no, boys, I could have missed that item. That's fine. I'll go back and get it sometime. Anyways, swimmer Ricardo has a Tentacruel. Um, I think this will be easy enough if, if I just go over to Torterra to like one shot it with Earthquake. But anyways, um, going back to the schedule sort of. So I'm not gonna, you know, completely explain what I'm saying in the announcement video, which comes out on Friday, of course. Like I said. Uh, but what I or you know no, I'm not gonna say anything about it. But what I am gonna say. Is that after I get done with Pokemon Pearl, which of course will be after the live stream that is happening on Saturday. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what time yet. I will announce that in the announcement video. But starting on Monday, so the following Monday, six days away, so a little less than a week. I am doing, it, I will be playing through a Pokemon game. However, it's not going to be a normal playthrough. That's all I'm going to say. I think I teased it a bit before in like two or three episodes ago, but... Yeah, it's not going to be a completely normal walkthrough like this one is. It's not even going to be a walkthrough. It's going to be more of a let's play. But, you know, that's all I'm going to say for now. You guys can make your guesses in the comment section if you want to. And let's see. Are we close? I feel like we're close to the waterfall. I'm pretty sure is what you go up. Um. Anyways, yeah, it looks like I might have missed that item because, wait. Oh, no, we can go through here. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't do anything. Never mind. I'm so dumb. Alright, another swimmer right here. I'm gonna quickly defeat That him. battle was incredibly dumb, but I'm done with it. And we can take on you. And I'm pretty sure we're close to the end. I think that was the shore up there, but I could be completely wrong. I don't know. I forget how long this route is. Even though I said it was short, maybe not. But anyways, yeah, that battle was so stupid because his tentacruel confused me with a water pulse. I hit myself twice in a row. And then it used two barriers to where... I couldn't even take it out with one hit with an earthquake, so yeah, just a very fun battle that you know I enjoyed spending like almost like five minutes of my life on. But yeah, 
We're done with it, and now we're taking on a weak old Wingle that goes down with one faint attack, so that's nice. And Speedy's almost up a level. Um, but yeah, Luminion and Torterra both got up a level there, so, uh, no need to put them back out on the battlefield. Anyways, Seeking now. Okay. I don't know, I'm always debating between Slash and Faint Attack, because I know Slash isn't Stab, but it has a chance to crit, so... I think they do, like, similar damage, though, anyways. The nice thing about Faint Attack, though, is it is Stab, and it can never miss. But let's see here. I feel like they're going to do around the same damage, because I know Slash has a better base power, I think. And... Yeah, they did about the same, I guess. And then, of course, we also have x Scissor as well, which is pretty nice. Are you kidding? Oh, my gosh. Oh, I didn't know I was going to use Flail. Holy cow. Man. I hate this game. Why do, why do I play it again? I'm just kidding. No, Pokemon's one of the best games out there. But, um, yeah. That sucks. But hopefully we're near the end. I think we are. I don't think there's anything else over this way. No, it doesn't look like it. And, no, we're not near the end. We're, like, halfway, I think. That's probably what this island means. But anyways, here's a pearl. And I'm probably going to go back and heal up my sneeze. Alright, so I just got the item that I skipped earlier. It's actually the TM for Rain Dance, so um, it can be useful. But if you miss out on that item, you're fine. I mean, Rain Dance, it's not like it's freaking, I don't know, Hyper Beam or something. Anyways, I did look at the map. We're over halfway there. So this route, a bit longer than I thought it was. But we're over halfway there, so it shouldn't be too bad. And we can go ahead and fight this sailor right here. Alright, so the last couple of battles have not been so great because, um, you know, first we had that Tentacruel getting lucky with Confusion and whatnot. That guy kept on spamming Roost with his Pelipper. Just some pretty annoying battles, but we're back on the ocean, I guess. I can't say back on the road, but here we go. Another swimmer. Alright, it was nice to have an easy battle right there. Hopefully you're also another easy battle. So I'm hoping we're getting close to the end. I feel like we are, but at the same time, it almost just seems endless. Um, let's see. Yep, there's another swimmer. I don't think there's an item. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to get off at the island, whatever. Um, wild Pokemon here. There's not many new things you can find, though. I'm pretty sure it's just, like, stuff you could find in other surfing places, so... Yeah, nothing much, but they are a lot higher level. I saw they're level 39 Tentacruel. And there's probably a hidden item right there, but I'm not going to go after it. I'm just going to fight this swimmer. Yeah, I don't even want to explain how stupid that battle was. Um, All that matters is we're here at the Pokemon League. At least at the um, front part where Victory Road starts, I guess. But yeah, basically what happened is I was fighting a Gyarados, and, you know, I was thinking, oh, I can use Rock Slide on it with my Bastion Nope, uses Ice Fang first turn. I get frozen for four turns in a row, and then it nearly kills me. Woo, thumbs up for that one. But anyways, next episode, which will be uploaded two days from now on Thursday, we'll be heading through Victory Road, and I'm probably not going to have much commentary on it. I'll probably just speed up the video because it's pretty long. Um, I mean, Victory Road is pretty long. But yeah, that's what's happening next time. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.